You know, the commands of God are very simple. Many times, just one word. Jesus said, go. Peter walked on water when Jesus said, come. Then there's give or love. Don't complicate these commands with manufactured drama. Well, good day and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. This is uh, Dwayne Matson. We're continuing in the book of First Timothy. We're in chapter 6, looking at verses 3 and 4. Paul says, If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud, knows nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words from which come envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions. That's 1 Timothy 6, 3 and 4. And I want to give you today a classic example of one of the methods of false teachers who are obsessed with disputes and arguments over words. Because it can be a ploy, and often is, used in the church today for those who would do things like deny the doctrine of Christ or those who wouldn't, uh, who would have us ignore the wholesome, that is, the healthy words of Christ. These false teachers become obsessed with putting a stamp of approval on sin. And they make a mockery of what the Bible says as they seek to create scenarios that would seem to fly in the face of what is taught by Jesus in Scripture. Their mantra is, but what about this case? Or what about that case? And unfortunately, many of us grab at that scenario and we end up using it to justify our sin. Friends, circumstances don't change the Word of God. I'll say it again. Circumstances don't change the Word of God. It is what it is, and we can either obey it and enjoy spiritual health or live in the loopholes where faith withers and runs the risk of dying. The classic example of loophole chasing is found in Matthew chapter 22, verses 23 through 32. As the Sadducees tried to justify their denial of a bodily resurrection. It reads as follows. The same day, the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses said that if a man dies, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now, there were with us seven brothers. The first died after he had married, and having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third, even to the seventh. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said to them, You are mistaken, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels of God in heaven. But concerning the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was spoken to you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. So did you notice our Lord's response to their absurd scenario? Jesus flat out told these loophole seekers they didn't know. They weren't intimate with the scriptures. So for you and I, rather than seeking loopholes, we are so much better suited and better served to become intimate with Jesus and his word. And instead of nitpicking, believe with all of our hearts. Thus saith the Lord. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.